Hi there, welcome to Pixelisco. This is the fourth and the last part of Krita Assistant tutorial series. If you haven't watched the previous parts, I am giving the links in the left side of the screen. You can go ahead and watch it. So, in this session, I'll try to explain the fisheye point and how you can use it. So, the fisheye point helps you achieve the fisheye lens effect. This is the same warping effect that you get when you see through the peep hole of your front door. So without further ado, let's get started. Now before I begin with the fisheye lens effect, I want to discuss something that I think I should have done earlier but I didn't know earlier. So I told you that in the parallel ruler, you have to if you want to get the uh, your vertical or horizontal line uh, to be actual vertical and horizontal you need to get it to the um, edge of this drawing area uh, to get it to snap but it's not the only way that you can get it I just found out that after drawing this if you uh, if you change the handle and then press shift then it automatically snaps to vertical or horizontal and that goes for everything in the spline also if you press shift, shift then it automatically snaps to the horizontal or vertical so that's really handy and that can be applicable for any tool also one thing one thing to uh, keep in mind that if you start drawing a tool i mean the assistant tool you don't get out of it without completing it so if you press escape it doesn't get out of it so if you complete it and then it gets out of it so this is one thing to keep in mind so without further ado now let's get started let's try to draw a fisheye lens effect for this effect you need two fisheye point assistant one horizontal and one particle and a vanishing point in the middle of the system so i'll start by using the horizontal and I got it uh, an approximate middle and then I got it here and I will approximate the middle of this so there's my horizontal and just above this I'll start drawing a vertical one and let's try to match up those so both are matched up and both are in place now all I have to do is add a vanishing point here and that's it now you go to the brush menu and now automatically you will draw the fish eye lens effect so let's try to draw a corridor as if it's a hotel corridor and you are seeing from uh, from inside the hotel room so here's the lane and notice how easy it is to draw this type of pictures. I don't know actually how I could have achieved this type of images without this particular assistant tool because all the points all the all the lines have two um, vanishing points that is really tough to um, accomplish by just your by just judging by your own eyes so it can be really beneficial for this type of effect and i can effortlessly draw just by just by drawing I need no I don't need to keep in mind what will be the alignment or anything like that I'll just draw and it will place the stroke in its own place so I think this is pretty amazing to do and to even see but it is slightly slower I think it can um, start by some lagging but that's okay so there's your 
fish eye lens effect i think this is the coolest one among all this you can also save your assistant tool setup uh, for future use so that you don't have to repeatedly um, set up the whole system and for that you need to click the save at first you have to draw the assistant i'm drawing a concentric ellipse maybe a ruler maybe a vanishing point and then i have to click on save and i have one save already there but i am creating this new save Krita assistant 2 now if i close this and then again open a new document and then go to the assistant tool and then open this this is my create assistant tool and notice everything is in its place so this is really convenient for and time saver so this was the last part of Krita assistant tool of Krita 101 series in the next part i'll try to cover another tool so if you found this video helpful please like comment and share it with your friends if you are new to this channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new upload from my channel so that's it for today guys i'll see you in the next tutorial